What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Golf Money channel and welcome back to episode 2 in our Vice Versa series. Now episode 1, we advise versus the Titleist Pro V1 with some very interesting results. If you haven't watched that yet, I'll put the video here so you can click on it and look at our full review. With that video, we had the Vice Pro Plus in white. And in this video, we're changing up a little bit. So what I've got here is the four-piece Callaway Chrome Truvis. Very popular ball amongst amateur golfers because of the design and how it feels. What I'm going to test it against is the Vice Pro Plus again, but a little bit of a difference. I've got the Vice Pro Plus Neon, but in red. Now this ball is exclusive to Vice because of the design and the customization that you can do with it, which I'll go on to in a little bit. What I'm going to do today is talk about the overall looks of both golf balls, how they perform on the GC Quad, and which one will be right for your game. Let's get right into the video. Right then, so if you're not from the UK or if you're from other parts of the globe and if you're not aware, over the last week or so a lot of things have gone on due to COVID-19 that have changed a lot of things on social media and the golfing world. So what that means for Golf Magic is not too much actually, luckily we've got a lot of good content that we've filmed already that we can release out to you over the next month or so. That means you can stay up to date with all equipment news, tour news and generally if you're not working as much you can watch all our videos and make sure you're still enjoying yourself as much as you can if you're staying inside. What I need to say, echoing the last point, is all content that we've filmed either in an outside area, a golf club, a golf course, in a driving range. This has all been filmed before lockdown, so we're not breaking any rules here. Another thing to note as well is, yes, I shaved all my hair off. It's a bit of a change, but lockdown 2.0 needed to happen and I decided to make a change. Looks of both golf balls. So the Callaway Chrome Soft Truvis is very popular amongst us amateur golfers. Although it's not too popular amongst professional golfers, which is quite interesting. Now the design of it is one of the reasons why I think us amateur golfers do take a preference to it. It's it's a bit of fun. It looks a bit like a football. There are some different features you can have with it, different colours, some limited edition as well, which I'll get onto. Um, but what Callaway say about this design is that the actual pattern itself is specifically designed to maximise your view of the golf ball for better, better focus and visibility. So there's actually a reason why they put this design in place. Now looking at the golf ball I kind of struggle to see that a little bit for alignment especially I prefer an alignment line and when putting with this I like the look of it when you finally hit a putt after impact but I prefer having a distinct alignment line so I can actually line up my putter. So it's it's a bit of a difficult one here it's a bit confusing I've, I've played a variety of golf balls and this design is a lot of fun but I can't really see the benefit of it in terms of maximizing your focus and visibility. Now the Vice Pro Plus in neon in red is quite interesting because the finish that you get off this ball is so glossy, it's so shiny and not something that I've really seen before in a golf ball and it made me think how durable is this going to be but we'll get onto that in a little bit. The alignment line is obviously the same as the Vice Pro Plus in white and that is a really positive feature I feel for this golf ball kind of contrary to the Chrome Soft Truvis that you can actually line it up and have a really positive stroke with a putter and anything else that you want to do. Now when comparing both golf balls, I feel like the Callaway Chrome Soft Truvis will probably be suited to the higher handicap player because of the design. The Vice Pro Plus is obviously meant for the player with faster swing speeds, so from 110 miles an hour and up, and this usually corresponds to the player with a lot of handicap. So this kind of does make sense here. For me, I preferred the Vice Pro Plus because of the more distinct alignment line. Now, the Chrome Soft Truvis still does have an alignment line that is somewhat notable, but because the ball is white with the red features and then the alignment marker is white over the red features, it's a little bit less notable than the Vice Pro Plus in red, which has that black alignment line. But then again, like this is just a personal preference of mine. There's no data going into this. There's no putting this on track, man. We'll get to that later. This is just what I think. So if you were the high handicap player, I'd probably lean towards the Chrome Soft Truvis because I feel like it's a little bit more 
encouraging to actually hit that golf ball. But if you've been playing for a little bit more for this particular ball, I would go for the Vice Pro Plus in red. Now, with the customization of both golf balls, with the Callaway Truvis, you do have different versions. So the one that we were reviewing on the day was the Callaway Truvis in red. But there are other versions such as the Callaway Yellow Truvis, which are the main two. And then they offer other limited edition ones that say one to do with the Masters. There was an Irish one and many, many more. So there are certain, let's say, customization features, but they're not personal. With the Vice Pro Plus, you have the variations such as the Vice Pro Plus in white, in uh, neon, in neon and green as well, which I'll get onto in a later video. And in other models such as the Vice Pro, the Vice Pro Soft, you have other variations too, such as the new drip color, which looks really cool. But one thing, which is why I think this is the number one ball to buy yourself or any other golfing fanatic at Christmas, is the personalization you could put on this golf ball. Now I mentioned it in the Vice versus Titleist video, but you can put anything you want to on this golf ball, whether that be a little bit of text, a photo, something to do with your company, town, anything you want. I'm sure you've seen it before in golf shops or at a local football club selling a Titleist NXT Tour that's got the Man United crest, the Arsenal crest on it. But with Vice, they can allow you to put anything you want on the golf ball and it only takes an extra four to six business days for this to happen. You might think, and it has happened in other golf balls whereby you put a logo on it and then this logo isn't put on like the original Titleist tailor-made logo itself and after two or three shots the crest that you put on it for your local golf club has worn off completely. Although the personalization of the golf ball happens after the manufacturing process what Vice do is they use such an advanced inking process that there is no expense lost for the quality so whatever you put on the golf ball will stay there for a long time or until you lose the golf ball. Vice uses an advanced digital printer to put this personalization on the golf ball. So that uses a very sharp resolution, meaning you can put literally anything you want on the golf ball. This means you could have quite a professional feel or something downright hilarious that you can give your friends. If you've ordered something off the Vice website and then you think, oh, I want to add some sort of personalization, you can do that really easily on the Vice app. So after you've ordered, you can then go onto the Vice app and then change the customization and add anything you want to the golf ball. For me, this is why this is the perfect Christmas present for any of your golfing friends, because you can add something downright ridiculous or something with quite a nice touch to the golf ball. But as nice as the golf ball looks, it has to perform. So let's jump right back to the GC quad at Gray's Golf and see how both golf balls performed. So the Vice Pro Plus in neon in red. I've already tested the Vice Pro Plus in white, so I'm gonna get similar results at this testing, and that's exactly what happened. I'll put the data up on the screen for the iron testing now, and as you can see, the actual club head speed and ball speed increase, that's because on this day, I was uh, nursing an injury in the Vice Pro Plus testing in white. This was a few days afterwards, and it's a little bit quicker, as you can see, in ball speed and club head speed. Um, the main thing I want to take out of this bit of testing was that, again, the dispersion that I got from the Vice Pro Plus in white was really strong for a premium four-piece golf ball. The distance was pretty strong as well, and the ball really does feel like a premium golf ball when hitting it out the center of the club face. Now, for the driver testing, I'll put data up on the screen now as well. Again, this feels like a really premium golf ball. What Vice Echo in the Vice Pro Plus is that they get an extra bit of distance compared to other premium golf balls, such as the Titleist Pro V1X. They have lower spin, and it means you get an extra few yards out of this. I definitely noticed that in the Vice Pro Plus in white versus Titleist testing. I gained an extra seven yards. And here you can see that, again, the data's increased for the club head speed and ball speed. That's because I wasn't injured for this day, so I jumped a little bit, which is really nice to see, and getting those extra few yards there. Now, for the Callaway Chrome Soft Truvis, this ball did surprise me a little bit, actually. I wasn't too uh, positive about this in the looks, but again, looking down at it for full swings, it is quite nice to look at, and definitely for the uh, amateur high handicap golfers, I would suggest giving this ball a try, just because it does really instill confidence, and somehow it does look a little bit bigger. I'll put the data up on the screen now for the iron testing. As you can see, similar results to the Vice Pro Plus, but it's got a little bit higher spin, which I did expect uh, when reviewing this golf ball compared to the Vice Pro Plus. The Vice Pro Plus echoes low spin. The Chrome Soft doesn't do that, although it is supposed to be a four-piece premium golf ball. I did expect to get some higher spin here. Now, going on to the driver testing, I'll put the data up on the screen for that now as well. 
the feel that you get off this club was actually quite nice. It does feel like a premium golf ball, but I can definitely tell that it spins a lot more than the Vice Pro Plus. As soon as it came off the club face, I could tell that I was getting a bit too much spin for this golf ball. So definitely not the golf ball for me, as I am prone to spinning it off the planet, especially with my driver. This wouldn't be a ball that I could put in my bag, but it was definitely a nice ball to hit, and it would be a ball that I would recommend to actually those mid to high handicapper players. So with the data put forward in this video, what golf ball do I think you should use between the Callaway Chrome Soft Trevis and the Vice Pro Plus? Now, as shown in the data, there's not really too much difference here, but the main talking point is that the Chrome Soft does have a little bit more spin, which is to be expected, as the Vice Pro Plus does broadcast itself as a low spinning golf ball. As mentioned before, the Chrome Soft does spin more, so if you're a higher handicapper golfer, between these two golf balls, I would probably recommend the Chrome Soft Truvis, as well as that the design is supposed to instill a little bit more confidence. But a massive talking point here is that the Vice Pro Plus is meant for lower handicap players with that faster swing speed. Vice offer a variety of golf balls from the Vice Pro Plus, Vice Pro Soft, Vice Pro itself, with different designs that are catered to every single golfer with a type of swing speed. If you want Golf Magic to review the other ranges of the Vice golf balls, such as the Vice Pro and the Vice Pro Soft, let's get 200 likes on the video, and then we'll do that very soon. So if you're in the market for a golf ball this Christmas, both are very good products, but the main thing that I want to mention with the Vice Pro Plus is the customization that I mentioned earlier in this video. You can do whatever you want to the golf ball and really make it a top class Christmas present for your golfing friends. As well as this, you can see that the Vice Pro Plus is a premium four piece golf ball that keeps up with all brands through 2020. So if you haven't tried this golf ball already, pop down to the Vice website where you can see all the customization, all the different designs they put forwards and see which one is right for your game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. There's quite a lot of information taken here from the video, from the technical side to the design and customization side. So I hope from this video you can make an educated decision as to what golf ball you think is right for your game and then purchase whatever you want to for yourself or your golfing friends for Christmas. This is part two in the Vice Golf series. For part three, we're going to put the Vice Pro Plus against TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X, one of the most popular golf balls on tour and amateur golf. So stay tuned for that one. Part four in this series as well is testing all things about durability for these golf balls as with a golf ball with a different color there may be some durability problems with them so stay tuned for that one i hope you guys are well and keeping safe if you're not subscribed to the channel yet please click that button down below as that would really help us we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year so if you're not subscribed yet hit that button down below to keep up to date with all our equipment reviews pga tour news challenges and much much more the masters is coming up in a week's time and we've got a lot of exciting content and giveaways to release so make sure you're subscribed I'll see you guys at the next video.